everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page six. So I mentioned before that there's going to be a lot of repetition in this album, um, partly just because I feel like there's a lot of complexity with the box already, so I want to keep things in the album simple. So we are going to repeat the same uh, page design. Uh, we're going to use different pattern paper, but the same page design as page um, one. So page... Six and seven are the center of the book, and they're going to be mirror images of each other, and they're both going to be the same layout uh, with different designer paper, but the same layout as page one and page 12. So basically, for each page design, it's going to um, occur four times in the book for a total of 12 pages. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, now for this page and for page seven, they're going to be design, same designer paper. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack, and this is from the um, 8 by 8 collection pack. Okay, we're going to start with a belly band, and the belly band is four and a quarter by seven, four and a quarter by seven. It's going to get centered on the page. <clears throat> So there's the center line for the belly band. And there's the center line. Let me double check that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. And there's the center line for um, the pocket page. So this is just going to line up like so. <clears throat> Lovely, lovely. I'll go ahead and uh, it doesn't look like I put it in straight, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and mark it on both of these. And test it real quick and see how I did. Yeah, it is. It's no, that's not right. Is that right? Oh, that's why. I did that wrong. Four and one eighth. So it's, I, I'm off a little bit. It's four and a quarter, so it should be two and one eighth is the center line, and I did that wrong. As soon I eyeballed it, and I'm like, something's not right here. <clears throat> so it's off just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out. I think I can get this off without too much damage, because I didn't burnish it. Again, when I'm lifting off like this, one, I wouldn't recommend it if you burnished it, use your undo, but if you haven't burnished it, and you want to try to lift it, pull at an angle, and you'll be able to lift it off um, and most of the time you can get it off without, um, without tearing the paper, uh, underneath. Okay. I just got to make sure I've cut the, the right line. It's this one. Okay. Now let's see if these line up. Yeah, that's, that's it. So sorry about that. So, um, I was off just by a smidge enough that it would bother me though okay that's in okay now we have um, a left and right flap and this flap is four and three quarter by six four and three quarter by six <clears throat> and it's just gonna go flush oh I should have dry fit this flush with the edge of the belly band Yep, and it's fine. Okay, now the second panel is going to go flush on the um, right-hand side, and this is going to be an eighth of an inch smaller. So this is going to be uh, four and five-eighths by six, 
four and five eighths by six, you're gonna score half inch. There we go, and that way it closes very freely. Let's go ahead and add this piece. <clears throat> I think this is so pretty. It is directional, so look for the words. Make sure you've got it, uh, you're putting it in right side up. <clears throat> and again, the this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Okay, now these two strips are gonna go right here and they're gonna be peeking out. So as I've done before, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these on the flip side. So this is a single piece that's gonna slide under. So we are going to tape these together. Let me tell you what size this is. This is three and three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And these two are uh, two inch strips. So that's how I came up with that. You can do a solid piece if you want, but I was trying to preserve some of my paper because uh, I'm not done. Um, and no one's gonna see what's behind the belly band. So you don't really need to use all of that. And then you've got uh, what's essentially a four by six panel left to add to a flap someplace else. It's a little fussy to get in, but I think it's worth the effort. <clears throat> oh, I need to make sure I'm getting these both, yeah, right side up. Okay, there we go, pretty straightforward, huh? So now we are going to slide this in. But let me Push this down so it doesn't get caught. I'm gonna slide it through. <clears throat> there we go. Like so. I'm just gonna check and make sure everything looks good. It does. I'm gonna hold everything in place with my palm while I reach under with my pick tool and pull off the back of the tape. And it shifted, so now I gotta readjust it. Okay, I'm gonna press that into place. Now I'm gonna peel it back and add some more glue to the edge of the papers. And then once you get one side in, the other side goes in really smoothly because you're not worried about keeping it centered top to bottom and all that. <clears throat> Same thing, we're gonna reach in and get the tape backing off. And if you're not comfortable with this, just use a single piece. Um, and then once you push it through, you're just gonna glue the edges, so. You don't have to worry about having glue across the center. It's not gonna go anywhere. There we go. Okay, now we are going to be repeating this process on um, page seven, but we're gonna do a mirror image because we want these two to open away from each other. All right, so that's done. So let's go ahead and get a magnet in that's gonna keep everything closed. <clears throat> oh, good grief. I don't have my big tape in here, so this will just have to do. Okay, so that's how that's going to stay closed. 
All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Let's go ahead and catch up on this page. Again, we've got a belly band. That is four and a quarter by seven, four and a quarter by seven. So that means our center line is two and one eighth. And this is uh, eight inch, so our center line is at four inches. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, we have a left and right flap. The larger of the two, which is four and three quarters by six, four and three quarter by six, score half inch on the four and three quarter inch side is gonna go on the right hand side. And the smaller flap is gonna go on the left. Go ahead and put our magnets on so we make sure that we it's closing in the direction we expect and it is Okay, that's all in place. Go ahead and put this down. I haven't inked it, sorry. Looks like I didn't ink anything. <clears throat> Again, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And then same thing, um, these are two inch strips. Now, if, if you want, you could just use uh, the whole eight by eight sheet, trim it down to five and seven eighths by six and by seven and seven eighths, and then just slide it through, or you can do what I did and preserve some of it to be used someplace else in the project. Okay, make sure when you flip these over that they're both going the right direction and then tape this together. And then I'll tell you again, this is three and seven eighths, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So it's basic, basically an eighth of an inch shorter uh, so that it'll slide through the, um, the belly band. <clears throat> okay. Now the other thing you could do, I didn't 
think about this, is you could just use regular tape. It doesn't have to be double-sided tape. And if you just use regular tape, then you don't have to worry about pulling the backing off. Uh, that's probably an easier solution. <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about reaching in to get the backing out. wrapped before I was ready. I gotta slide this in and shift it. okay there we go so page six page seven um, i'm going to go get the rest of my designer papers lined up trimmed out inked and we will finish decorating page six and seven okay everyone i got my papers lined up and we are ready to go I inked them and I trimmed them, so this is going to go super fast. Okay, so I have planned these papers. So this is going to go right here. So let's look at the inside first. And this is page six. So we've got these. These. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack, and this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. So everything on the inside here is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. <clears throat> Yeah. And of course, everything we're doing on page six, we are going to repeat on page seven, even the same designer paper. Of course, you have options here. What do you guys think? Should we do this or this? That's tough. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. We're going to do the pink side up. Although I like this a lot too. But I think if you put a photo down, you have this little pink border, it's gonna be very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Now remember when you're trimming out your papers that each of these panels is uh, an eighth of an inch different. So make sure you don't scramble your, your, your papers once you've trimmed them. You wanna always dry fit. Um, It'll save you some frustration. Okay, and then 
we're going to repeat the pattern that's on the top of the panel right here. So there is page six. I'm glad I changed that. I think it's prettier. And now page seven, same thing. Let's do the inside first. And then we'll come back and do the outside. And again, I had already inked everything, so you didn't have to watch me do that. Save you a little bit of viewing time. rained um, quite a bit the last couple of days, but it's beautiful and sunny today, and oh boy, are the birds happy. <laughs> they were making so much racket this morning, I couldn't, I wanted to sleep in, but they weren't having it. That's a very cheerful thing to wake up to, for sure. Here's our last piece. There we go. Okay, so page six, page seven, they open away from each other and then toward each other. I think this is so pretty. Okay, so the last thing is we're gonna have two five by seven inserts, which I've already done. This is from the Patterns and Solids collection. So it is from that 12 by 12 Patterns and Solid. And that's gonna slide right in here. And that concludes page six and page seven. Thanks everyone. I'll be back soon with the rest of the album.